This time of the year, those of us in healthcare hear a recurring bad news knows story. And it goes like this. I've been coming down with it for two or three days now, and it's a real doozy. It started with a runny nose, aching all over, sore throat, fever, and cough that just won't quit. Where does all that mucus come from? Now it's packed into my sinuses, and I have a headache that won't stop. I usually need an antibiotic to shake this sinus infection. Can you give it to me, doctor? There are a few points about this nosy illness worth repeating. First, our patient is describing a viral illness for which an antibiotic will not help him feel better. At this stage, there is not a bacterial infection. It's going to last a week or two with antibiotics and seven to 14 days without it. What's more, taking an antibiotic to prevent the cold from turning into a bacterial infection doesn't work and can just make any bacterial infection that might follow resistant to treatment. Use common sense to see your doctor when a respiratory illness is lasting too long, changing, or becoming too severe. Chills and sweats the first day or two as usual, but a return of a fever after four or five days is a danger signal. The most important preventive is for the infected individual to cover the cough with tissue or sneeze into a tissue or arm if no tissue is available. And then wash your hands after messing with your nose. Unfortunately, vitamin C likely will not protect. And remember going out in the cold did not bring this on. You got it from someone else. One can generate a tremendous amount of damaging pressure when blowing the nose hard, especially when blocking one nostril, which packs the sinus or ears with mucus. Do not blow the nose except very gently with both nostrils open and only occasionally. Stop the honking. Finally, try to avoid decongestants and cold pills. Instead, a natural or effective way to clear mucus is to stimulate the making of saliva and to increase swallowing, such as sucking on a sugar-free lemon or cough drop, sipping on chicken noodle soup, or drinking hot lemonade with honey. I drop menthol cough drops into a mug of hot tap water for a soothing tea. And if you're suffering, stay home and don't spread the bad news nose.